All right, so today we're going to be talking about some technology. Everybody needs it. Everybody uses it. You're using it right now to watch this video, if you're watching. Um, now, is all of it worth it? Is all of it um, useful? Is all of it, you know, worth the high price that it comes with? I don't know. Let's find out. All right, we've all seen this video floating around the... Uh, Little phone you just wear on your wrist, and then uh, apparently you can just uh, dip it back in the bathtub. Because that's what I want to do when I'm trying to relax, is uh, answer phone calls and stuff. Apparently you just flick your wrist, and then your phone opens up. And uh, I'm going to call bullshit on this, because if you watch this thing, see how it bounces around a little bit? I, I mean, I'm sure this is 100% fake. But, uh, yeah, so you just like flick your wrist, and then it opens up your phone and all that right on your wrist. But what do you do if you got to swat a fly or something like that? What 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 happens then? Then your phone pops open every time you want to swat a fly or, or something like that? It's, I don't know. Seems kind of dumb to me. Plus, everybody can see everything that you're doing. It's like wide open for the public to see that you're playing Fruit Ninja on your on your lunch break here. Oh yeah, I'm just sitting here reading a book. And, oh my phone is right there within arm's reach. There, no thank you. I'll just flip my wrist here and. Well, bam, my phone will open up. Oh, and I can answer these phone calls like that. No, thank you. I'm calling bullshit on this. All right, up next here we have the smart newspaper. Uh, I'm also calling bullshit on this, too. Um, for one, they already have something similar. It's called a tablet. Uh, and me, I can never fold the newspaper back to the way it's supposed to be, so I would destroy this thing within one reading. Uh and then I would probably spill something on it, too, and just waste a bunch of money. Yeah, I'm calling BS on the old smart paper. Yeah, look at this guy. What a dummy. Take your smart paper and go home. All right, then we got another one of these smartwatch deals. Uh, apparently this one's got the hologram and all that stuff, too. Uh, nobody can just use their phone like regular. Okay. So we've got all the stuff your phone can do. Oh, yes, and then don't forget the holograms. that turns you into goddamn Tony Stark. Look at this. Oh, my calendar, all this stuff, and bull shit. This reminds me of that movie uh, Minority Report with Tom Cruise. Look at this here. Oh, yeah, look, my camera's got that, too. Yeah, look, I'll just bring it over here and oh, we'll put it all in there. Look at that. All futuristic, and I'm calling bullshit on this. There's no way. There is no way. Oh, and just move all my pictures over here. Oh, I'm going to go out for a little jog here. Let me map my route here. And then, yeah, that's not going to be distracting. Is a giant TV screen popping up in front of your face. Oh, yeah, let's just see what's going on here. She's like, kind of like Leela from Futurama. she got that thing on her wrist. Oh, look, you can even take phone calls and, oh, and you can even unlock your door with it. Yeah, that seems pretty smart. I'll take somebody whoop your ass and take it. All right, then we got the uh, rocket book. They claim to be the only notebook you'll ever need. You can reuse it, you can write stuff down on it, and you can put it in the microwave, it erases it, um, and you can use it like a uh, like a whiteboard, you know what I mean? You can you can wipe this stuff away once you're done. You have to, of course, buy special pens that work with this magic notebook. Um, or you could just buy another notebook. So look here, he's showing that you can write on it. Looks real, looks legit, doesn't rub off or nothing. And then, you know, if you wanted to get rid of it, all you do is take a little wet paper. Oh, it comes right off. Oh, wow, look at that. So my question is, is why is there a bunch of different pages? And if you only need the one page, you can just wipe it all off. Oh, you can even take pictures of the stuff. There. They got little QR codes there down at the bottom of the page and uh, send it to whatever cloud storage or whatever you need. This is dumb. Just buy another notebook. They're like literally like 50 cents. Why would you? This is probably a $200 notebook or something stupid. Uh, oh, look, you can save it to all your stuff there. Oh, yeah, there's all my papers there. Then I'll just put my notebook in the microwave and uh, clear it out. That way I've got a fresh new notebook. Jeez Louise. Like all the stuff we're coming up with and like like that's the big problem people have. That, you know, technology is supposed to solve a problem and a big problem. Is like I have to buy more notebooks when I use them. Got too many notebooks. I need a special notebook I can put in a microwave and then and clean it all off. Jeez Louise. Math notes. Yeah, why would you want to erase your math notes? That's what you need to learn from. You gotta study that stuff. This is ridiculous. This is real though. I did see it on Shark Tank. So that's 
Definitely real. All right, now this looks pretty cool. It's a skateboard, uh, an electric skateboard that you've got a uh, little controller or whatever for uh, for using like your throttle and all that. Yeah, see, he's look, he's got himself a little looks like a Milwaukee drill in his hand there. That's probably comfortable to carry around with you. Um, this looks neat as hell. Got to give you that, but I would die in about three seconds on this thing. Uh, there is no way. That I would suffer. Look at this. Look how wobbly that thing is. That dude's going to hurt himself. Oh, yeah. And then when I go out in the desert and stuff like that and around all the construction sites, I'll just be cruising around. Get some rebar sticking out of there. It looks pretty safe. Jeez Louise. Looks cool, though. I mean, if you're, like, into skateboarding, I guess it would be kind of cool. But I'm definitely not a skateboarder. And I uh, sure as hell don't want to see that guy on my side mirror there. That's goofy. Is that a chick? Oh, yeah. I guess so. Oh, yeah. Look. You can, like... Oh, yeah, a bunch of batteries and stuff. So make sure you charge your skateboard. Don't forget to charge that. I don't know. I think it'd be pretty cool to try. I'm sure it's hella expensive, though. And I would definitely hurt myself. For sure, real quick. And this chicken even got a helmet on. What are you, a dummy? Put a helmet on, dummy. Like this guy here. Click. Now I'm safe. Yeah, I would give it a try, though, for sure. I'm sure as I wouldn't buy one. I know that. Oh, well, let's watch these people be fools here and uh, cruise around town. I mean, I'm sure there's no accidents going to happen there. People walking around everywhere, and this guy's just flying along. Where's his drill at his remote control there? How's he doing without that? Hmm. Interesting. Her skirt's going to fly up. Then she will regret this thing. All right, now this is pretty funny. This is the smart water bottle. The smart water bottle, the technology infused water bottle. So you've got it literally tells you if you know the water's good, good enough for you to drink. It's got that little wristband around there. And then you can take that wristband off, put it on your wrist, and it will tell you when you need to drink water. I mean, if you need a goddamn smartwatch to tell you when to drink water. You're a fucking idiot. You know when I drink water? When I'm thirsty. Which is all the time. Because I think I have some sort of issue with it or something. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. So, I guess if you get your water from unknown sources and you're not really sure if it's good, then uh, you may want to invest in this. You know, if you go usually fill your water bottle up from the toilet or the, you know... The local fishing hole, you may want to dump some money into the smart water bottle. That way you can tell if it's good or not. And it looks pretty cool. Look how cool this dude looks. Look at that. Oh, dude, time for me to drink. Oh, man. Glad I got this thing. Totally worth the $500 to pay for this so I could know when I have to drink water. Everybody else does it when they're thirsty. Oh, hey, what's going on, girl? I just got my cool water bottle. Let me just throw this in the car here and put it in a little cup holder. Ooh, it fits in a cup holder. Cool. Good selling point. Yeah, so if you're out hiking, doing stuff. Oh, she's got one, too. They're both cool. Look at that. That is neat. Yeah. Oh, you know what? We spent all this money on this water bottle, but we're not smart enough to bring water already in it. So let's just get it from this local stream here. That should be pretty safe. Shake it up, see what it says. Oh, yeah. It says bad. Don't drink it. I could have told you that, dipshit. You don't drink water out of the stream. Big stupid. Oh, yeah. Just drink away. Drink your uh, hepatitis there. Good job, dummies. Yeah, I would just get water bottles. Like, you can literally carry them around with you, um, and your body will tell you when you need to drink it. So, yeah. No, thanks. All right. Next, we got the heated jacket here, which is nothing new. Milwaukee's had one out for a couple of years. Uh, personally, I've never used it, uh, but it's, I mean, it's a good idea if you do stuff in cold places. I don't because I'm allergic to the cold. I'm a big old JJ about it. This one's cool. You can use your smartphone or whatever to uh, adjust the heat, you know, where you want it specifically on your body. Uh, as for me, I just think it's one more thing I will forget to charge. Um, Uh-oh, forgot to charge my jacket, so can't go outside. Or, well, give me 10 minutes, let me get my jacket a charge before we go outside and do this. Yeah, well, it's a pretty good idea, though. Like I said, if you do stuff in maybe hunting or whatever, I don't see any camouflage version, but 
if you hunt or do whatever, I'm sure it's probably pretty neat. Not for me, though. Um, and what happens if you, uh, like you fall in water with it? I would think you'd get electrocuted. And I know it just showed water being poured on there like it, but being submerged in water is completely different. And then, oh, look, you can even charge your phone with your batteries that are in That seems cool, yeah. So you're like a walking freaking Wi-Fi station and all that, yeah. I don't know. They say all this stuff causes cancer anyway, so probably not the best idea, but I don't know. Somebody might like it. Who knows? Not me. No thanks. All right, then we got this thing, the tile. Um, basically, you can use it to find whatever. You can put it in your wallet. You can stick it to the back of your computer or put it in your coat. And then if uh, you lose that item, you can find it with using your phone to locate it. Um, and you can, in reverse, use that item to locate your phone if you lose that. Um, so it sounds like you're probably going to need this if you're a big old dum-dum. And you can't keep a hold of all your shit. Like me, I have never lost my wallet. I've never lost my phone. Um, probably a pretty good idea, especially if you're big stupid. And you're like this guy. And the wallet just falls right out of your pocket. Oh, zip that pocket up, dummy. And, you know, somebody might find it, return it. Or you can go and get on there and track it down. It might wind up taking you to a drug dealer's house or something if somebody ripped it off. And then you can get yourself shot. But yeah, if you're big old dumb stupid, then uh, this is definitely for you. I don't know how much it costs. I'm sure it's pretty expensive, but can't put a price on the dumbness, can you? Hmm, interesting. All right, so there it is. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.